Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another thrift haul. <clears throat> I'm not sure when this particular thrift haul will be going live or compared to some of the other thrift hauls, but I filmed a lot this evening. So I hope you guys, if this is, um, you know, later down the road, if you guys are enjoying the thrift haul marathon, please let me know because I have committed to showing you guys every single thing that I purchased this week to flip online. So this is the last one that I'm filming tonight and I'm losing my voice. So give me some grace, um, but we're going to get through the rest of this stuff. And it's not often that I get to show you guys everything. So I think it is so much fun to be able to show you it all. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. All right, let's get started. Um, as I've said before in these thrift hauls, it's a good mix of bread and butter, bolos and style based stuff. This one is a style based. This is just a Target brand, a new day. It is a plus size three X. And I've had some really great luck selling stuff in this aesthetic. This is very like cottage core, minimalist, boho beachy. Um, I do realize that we are coming out of that season. So I'm gonna be very mindful of getting this listed before everything else. Um, but I should be able to sell that for around 30. This is another along those same lines style base. This is Market and Spruce, not a brand I typically get, but it is new with tags. And it is also that like peasanty, beachy, boho, cottage core style. Probably we'll just list that for 25. This is more of a bread and butter. It is a Ralph Lauren men's larger size shirt. 2XLT. It is like the classic, very great condition striped shirts, very nautical, and it has the pink pony. I'm going to list this for 25. Next up, this is new, completely new to me. Actually, ah, I didn't even tell you guys. All this stuff's from the bins. This is a bins haul, which I know you guys have been um, asking me about for a while. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I almost didn't say that. I have two totes for this video, all from the bins. So I know you bins girlies, you love knowing when I go to the bins, I went to the bins again. I'm trying to go at least once a week, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it is exhausting. So I'm trying to trying to work up to more. Um, but I found this at the bins. I thought this was a really excellent find. This is Pin West, which is apparently a brand by Pendleton. This is the Lobo jacket and it's, very clean, excellent condition. I think I was going to list this for around 50 to 60, um, but any kind of Pendleton at the bins, like, yes, absolutely. I am getting, I can't believe no one got that. Um, next up, this is um, a Penny Lane coat, or at least that's the keyword I'm going to use. This is just Dennis Basso, size 1X. Um, the fur on the front and the fur on the cuffs is why I'm gonna call it a penny lane coat. It is faux suede, so I, I think that's kind of going against it. Um, it has toggle details, it is longer length. Um, styles like these are doing very well right now. I think I'm gonna list that one for around 50 if it were, if it looked much like along the traditional lines of a penny lane coat, I might price it a little bit higher. This was a style-based pickup. Um, I don't know this brand. It's called Step in Style, um, but it is 100% cotton made in India. It is a size large as well, and it is a very exaggerated like barrel leg, which again, the style has been performing very well for me with the cottage core boho as well. So I don't know what I'm going to list these pants for, but they were just very on trend, really cool piece, um, but I'm guessing I'm going to list for like 30 to 35. All right, I got a lot of plus size stuff because I love getting plus size stuff at the bins. It's one of my favorite bread and butters. Catherine size 3X. This one's actually new with tags as well. I'll probably list that for 25. Um, I found this pillowcase. It had pretty decent comps. I consider keeping it for myself, which is why I got it, but I think I'm going to list it. Riley. It's called the Percale <laughs> pillowcase. I don't know. It seemed like people did like them. Um, and I do have a color that I don't think anybody else has. It's called Spice. So I thought that would be perfect for the holidays. New with tags. Um, I think I can list this for 
Um, I think it was like 15 to 20. So not much, but again, super quick to list. I also found these, which will also be like a 15 to 20. They're smart wool socks, but they are brand stinking new women's. And so, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. These are a style base. This is American Eagle. They are a men's madras plaid, which is the only reason that I got them. Y2K shorts. I think these were going for like 25 to 30. This was a style base pickup. This is, this is just land's end, but it's very on trend with the purple and red florals. It is a large wrap scarf and it is stunning. Um, I thought it was very fall vibes too. I'll probably list that for 20 to 25. This is a kids vineyard vines, but it's the performance line, which surprisingly even in kids had a great sell through rate. So I grabbed it long sleeve kind of nylon feel. Um, there is slight cracking on the graphics, but it should still flip quickly. I think it, I was going to list it for around 20. This is Alex Mill. Definitely a great brand to look for, especially at the bends. This is a size large and I think it's a women's t-shirt. Um, so I need to look that up. I'm used to selling the men's. This might even be men's. I don't know. Um, but I expect to get at least 30 bucks for that one. I love when I can sell t-shirts. This is another plus size. It is a Talbot's uh, plus size cardigan. 1X, nice blue color. That should sell for 25. I risked it a little bit on this guy. This is a Calvin Klein um, comps aren't quite here for this stuff yet, but traditionally I've been doing very well with dressier coats and Calvin Klein is one of those brands I feel very comfortable picking up in dressy coats because I've done it every single year. This is like a tweed double breasted women's coat and there is a little, um, I don't want to say tag, but like a tab on the inside, which looks like it is new without tags. So that's how I'm going to market it. And I think I was going to list that for 50 or 60. This is a J. Crew men's item. It is their vintage fleece line, which does pretty good for me, especially in men's. Plus this was a Halloween orange. So I thought that would do well. I'm going to list this for 25. This was a style based pickup. This is by the brand Loft. I almost never get this brand, um, but I really like the style of this dress. It is a size eight petite. It is a patchworky dress and it has a baby doll style with a cow neck, which is the main reason I wanted to get it. So we'll see how that does. Um, I'll probably only list that for 25 to 30. Okay, I didn't, I don't normally get this brand, but this felt so high quality. I had to. It's Bill Blass, and it's a size extra small, but it's really oversized. It is so super thick. It is extra fine merino wool, and look at the beautiful bishop sleeves on this. Is that not so stunning? It is so gorgeous. Um, I think I was going to list that for like 40 to 50, surprisingly. All right, this particular bra style, size, brand, everything had a great sell through rate. Where did it go? It's a Soma bra, which Soma does pretty well for me in a lot of things. Um, this is the Soma In Bliss wireless bra in a 34D. And I think I was gonna list that for around 20. This is a Torrid size 4X top and it is an all over kind of artsy, drawing cat print button up top. I might price that one up. I got to look that one up. Maybe 30 on that. This is another style base. This is just LA Hearts, not a brand I would typically get. Size medium. Um, this is a very coquette milkmaid kind of dress. It's got the bodice cups here. Um, this is also long sleeve and a dark floral. So I actually thought that this would do pretty well. I'll probably still only list it for like 25 to 30. We have a Jesse Pinkman hoodie. <laughs> this is a vintage Y2K Volcom hoodie, which actually has pretty decent comps. Fleece lined on this one. And this one has a really cool graphic all over with the um, logo here. I'll probably price this around 50 to 60. Everybody passes on those, but I love them. They sell so quick. All right, next up, this is 
cashmere. Of course, I'm getting cashmere with the holes at the bins. This is simply cashmere. I've never heard of it. Um, it is a really nice light orange color, perfect for fall. This is a Joseph Abbott um, extra fine merino wool men's zip cardigan. I've talked about men's cardigans a lot. I prefer to get the button cardigans, but zip is good too. So I'm going to promote this as a zip cardigan and it does have elbow patches. So for all those factor stacking reasons, I grabbed that and I think I was going to list it around 35. This is a charter club plus size top. It is a wrap kind of businessy office top 25. This is J. Jill, which I try not to get J. Jill if it's not plus size, but I thought this had enough factors going for it. It is a wool blend, long, long length button up cardigan. And the buttons, they're kind of artsy, kind of like a baby doll style where they only button on the top and then it drapes in a Gilead green color, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Um, so I'm probably just gonna list that for 25. All right, these are a pair of Levi's men's jeans. These are 501s, they're in a larger size. Anytime I see Levi's jeans where they're thick and distressed, I always get them. Um, they always sell very well for me. So these are a distressed pair. They're very, very thick. I don't, no, they're not salvage. Um, and they are button fly. So this like very modern distressed looking thick jean regardless of style and Levi's always performs well for me. I will look that up and like figure out exactly what I'm going to list that for, but I would say at least 35. Okay. This, this is a process here. <laughs> so this is by a very, very good brand called Ostroy. And cycling gear is amazing. Um, patch details here made in Italy so the problem with this is that although it looks in excellent condition there are patches from where the fabric started having holes they are patched pretty nicely um, however I <laughs> went back and forth at the bins the seat pad on the inside looks great also um, but when I did comps like great sell through rate and also this brand sells for so much I was like well I can get it and like just price it lower so I think even price lower I'm gonna list that at like 35 or 40 and I'll let you guys know how it goes um this brand I could not find much on it but there is one comp and like basically as many well like one of these jackets listed one or two and then one sold so i'm kind of taking a risk but the one that did sell sold for close to a hundred dollars it is farinelli and this is like a kind of trench style jacket but it is super duper artsy and my gut instincts were telling me to get it so i did it also comes with the matching belt but it has a lot of really interesting details to it I think I'm going to list this one for around 75 and yeah, we'll see how things go. I have to report, report back on that one, but I thought it was a cool find. Uh, this is a Chaps Ralph Lauren size 3X plus size top. I'm probably going to list that for 20 to 25. This is another style based pickup. It's also loft, but it is gorgeous. It is really pretty and on trend. This is a size large. I'm just like challenging myself all the time now to buy mall brands and see if I can sell them. Um, I don't recommend you do that, but at the bins, it's fun um, to test it out. So this is a super grungy floral. It's a crushed velvet. And I just thought this was a very on-trend piece. I can think of a lot of keywords that I could use, whimsy goth being one, to just kind of upsell that. This is J. Crew. I don't have the size on this, but it is a, I think it's a wool cashmere blend. Beautiful cable knit zip sweater. And last year, this um, specific like looking neckline where it kind of is like a V-neck was very trendy. Um, so I grabbed that, I'm guessing around 35. It's also an oatmeal color, which also helps. Intimately free people. This is a women's purple sweater. 
very oversized and long. I have not done a comp on the specific style yet, but that should do well. Next up, a plus size piece. This is Liz and Me. This is a size 5X, so very large size. Um, I'm gonna sell this for 25 bucks. This was something someone threw back, which I was surprised. It is Cashmere by Lyle and Scott. So again, Cashmere at the bins with no holes I am getting. And this has a really cool red, white, and blue color blocking. And I believe it is men's because the sleeves are very long. So a men's cashmere sweater with some cool color blocking. I'm guessing around 35 to 40 on that, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a J. Crew women's size extra small eyelet midi dress, um, but it is a Kelly green color, which is the main reason that I got it. And it is very pretty. I've sold a lot of J. Crew Kelly Green stuff recently, um, and it's been doing pretty well. So I'm guessing that that will probably sell for, I don't even know, around like $35 with it being an extra small. All right, we have one more tote to do. Let me take a drink of water here. These thrift hauls are taking it out of me, I'm telling you. All right, we've got another tote ready to transfer. And we are going to get started here on the very last tote of this thrifting marathon. Feels like it was never going to come to an end. All right, some of these pieces I actually did end up getting at thrift stores because I hit a thrift store at the end of the day. So this is a mix of bins and then thrift store stuff. So I lied, it's not completely bins. So this is a thrift store one. It is Lululemon. It is a pair of women's leggings. I need to look up the style name on that. I think they might be the Align, but I don't know. Um, I paid up for this. I paid $5.99. It is a Patagonia little 2T toddler <sighs> fleece vest. I have really good luck with uh, Patagonia toddler and baby stuff. I didn't even look it up. I just grabbed it. That might have been a mistake. I think probably not. It's probably good. Um, but Patagonia baby stuff does very well. I have no idea what I'm going to sell that for yet, though. All right, this is a Ben's pickup. This is Curves by Catherine, size 3X. It is new with tags. I normally wouldn't get a sleeveless top at this time of the year, but it is new with tags, and it's a, a darker color, so I think that should do well. I'm going to list that for 25 this is another plus size piece. This is Catherine size 3X. It is like a waterfall sleeveless cardigan vest, 25. This is a Falls Creek. I definitely hardly ever pick up this brand, but I wanted to test it out. It's plus size. I got it at the bins. It is an ombre sweater. I'm going to market that as like a Southwestern sweater and see how it does. Um, I'll probably list that only for 20. This was a good find. Um, this is a, where's the label? Beyond Yoga. Hard to see there, but they're a size extra large pair of joggers. They're made out of Modal. They're so soft and they do seem like a newer style. I almost kept these. I was very, very close. Um, they do need some deep pilling in like the thigh area, but other than that, they feel in really excellent condition. I have no idea what comps look like on that yet. Oh, uh, this was actually given to me by a viewer. Thank you if you're watching, Noah. This this was super sweet. He came over to me and he was like, I, I actually have my headphones on, so I didn't hear what he said at first, but he said that I could have this. I was like, are you sure? Um, it is L.O. Bean. It is a women's size extra large. I love selling L.O. Bean. It is a wool blend women's sweater. And it has so many great things going for it. It is longer length. It is a beautiful green color. Different shades of green are really in right now. Um, and it is toggle. So full button toggles. It is all over cable knit. So I'm going to probably use the keyword fisherman with this as well. But this is a really excellent color. Um, even if greens like weren't very trendy, which they are, going into holiday season. This is a perfect green for that. I think I was going to list that for 35 to 40. If 
found this at the bins. This is Wooden Ships by Paola Buendia. I can never remember how to say it. This is actually a cotton blend. It doesn't have wool or anything in it, but I did see some pretty decent comps on this, especially on Poshmark where, where I think that this brand does better. It's an oversized sweater. I think I was going to list it for around 30 to 35 to get it to move. All right, this is a style-based pickup. This is Dina Leonard. It is a size large, very artsy, open, very like fairy-inspired um, cardigan. Stuff like this is doing very well for me. Lots of keywords I can use with that. I'll probably list it for 25. This is also another shade of green. Um, this is by the brand Signal. I don't know much about this brand, um, but it is a wool mohair blend and it is a stunning green cardigan. Longer length. I just had like a gut feeling about this one. Certain colors can do really well and I feel like, I feel like this one's going to do really great. I don't know. I'm guessing around 40. All right, another, well, I mean, I guess it's not style-based. It is Victoria's Secret. It is new with tags. Um, retail price, whew, $120 for this. Velvets are very in right now, so that's kind of why I was saying, like, style-based, but it's also new with tags. Victoria's Secret bodysuit, I probably would have gotten it. Um, this is a long-sleeve bodysuit. It has a little bit of jewels in the back. I could totally see somebody wearing that during Halloween. Uh, don't know comps on that. I'm guessing at least 40. Okay, I've been talking about this category in a lot of my videos recently. It does well for me every year. It is men's cardigans. This is by Towncraft. It is a men's size extra large and it is a really nice cream color with the like leather buttons very grandpa style. Um, also has cable knit all over, so I'll probably use the keyword fisherman as well. Um, I'm going to list that for at least 40. This is a Talbot's Plus Size 2X button up polka dot top, 25 bucks. This is a Chaps Raw Florin Plus Size floral top, very cottage core, 25 bucks. We have a faux leather dress. So I don't normally get this brand, but this was giving me very like Wednesday Adams, Beetlejuice, Halloween vibes. And I thought it was very on trend. It is ASOS. ASOS comes through for me sometimes. I've sold a lot of ASOS stuff. I would not recommend getting it, but every now and then it, I get that like gut feeling and I get it and it always sells. This is a size six, although it is quite oversized. It is a faux leather dress. I love the silhouette of the hips here. It does have that interesting Peter Pan color. So I want to get that listed um, leading up to Halloween. This is a plus size top again, CJ Bank size 2X button up. Yellow details, 25 bucks. This is a 3D knit sweater. This is just by the brand Alfani, but these 3D knit sweaters do so good. Size medium, and I thought it was a really good colorway too on this. I'm probably gonna price this up around $50. Any kind of 3D knit, if it looks like Kuji, get it, it sells. Just don't use Kuji in your title. All right, this is another uh, style-based pickup. This is Topshop. Not a brand I hardly ever get, but this is very like cottage core, Edwardian, Victorian. Again, this aesthetic, the cottage core aesthetic is doing so well for me. So I've been kind of just branching out. I always recommend like test out a few pieces. Then if it does well, go full force, but be careful. Don't just go full force because one of them sells or because you heard it on a video. Uh, this is by the brand Carrigdon. This brand I usually find in wool pieces, but surprisingly, this is just a, a cotton cardigan sweater, size extra large. Very expensive brand, though. Full button cardigan. And it is a Kelly green color. So, again, another Kelly green 
Um, and I'll be putting that in my title. I'm guessing at least 40 to 50 bucks for that guy. Um, this is a vintage men's piece. Epidemic is the brand. Decent comps on this, actually. This is a men's size small. Um, this is promoted as like a rave uh, disco kind of shirt. I'll probably also put like goth and grunge. It's kind of like a sheer meshy like top. Um, yeah, keep your eye out for stuff like that in the men's department. I'm going to list that probably for around 30. I do have a couple pairs of shoes that are mixed in here. Um, these are a pair of chunky, like Y2K loafer style. And I heard the employee talking to her mom because the employee was saying she wanted to get this. And she was like, these are the cutest pilgrim shoes. And I was like, pilgrim? I've never heard of that. So that'll be a new keyword that I'm using. I looked it up and it's legit. Um, they do look like pilgrim shoes. So maybe a keyword you guys want to use. Um, but these are just earth shoes. They are new with tags. So it's, I was pretty excited to find those. Um, but I love the chunky Y2K style. Um, I also found these weren't priced up either, which surprised me. Um, these are a pair of Ariat women's fat baby boots. Yes, you heard me right. Um, it actually says fat baby in here. It's like one of their style names, pretty popular. Um, I don't know about this color and size. I got to look that all up, but Ariat boots for five bucks. Like, yes, I'm absolutely going to get those. All right, back to some clothing here. This is an Athleta wrap style hoodie. It's that very soft material feels like, um, from their newer line. I do not know what I'm going to price that for yet. This is an Eddie Bauer men's vintage sweater vest, extra, extra large, tall, um, pretty good comps on these, especially if they are new with tags still like dead stock. Um, I think I was going to list that for 40 to 50. Uh, this has been an excellent brand this year. It just like blew up all of a sudden and their dresses are still comping really well. Natural Life. This is a size medium, oversized, midi length dress. Tiered blue, excellent condition, ruffle details. I think I'm going to list that for 35-ish. This is a Torrid plus size women's 4X, so pretty large size jacket. Oh no. Just noticed a bleach spot. I'm going to set this to the side. I will deal with that in a moment. I don't think we're going to list that with the bleach spot. All right, next up, um, this is a vintage shirt, like Y2K. Um, this is like a Halo shirt, which you can't even tell unless you played the game. But um, I looked up specifically ones that had the UNSC and I tried looking up like armor and different things. It was really hard to look up. Uh, but anyways, I decided to get it. It had um, decent comps on the Y2K Halo shirts. And I think I was going to list this for like 30 or 35 bucks, something like that. All right, this was a style based pickup. This is a vintage Jessica Howard women's dress. And this thing is so pretty. This gives me all the like country glam equestrian vibes. It's denim and it has velvet accents to it. Collar and cuff, but this part is so stunning. I'm going to use keyword Equestrian, like I said, country glam, western, cowgirl, longer length. It is, it is gorgeous. It has shoulder pads too, which is interesting. I have no idea what I'm going to price that for. I'll probably price it up. Um, I found this pair of L.L. Bean men's pants, which I do like selling L.L. Bean, especially when I get it at the bins and men's stuff. Um, but these felt special because they feel like a waxed canvas which if you know, you know, can be pricey. Um, they do have some like paint splatter and stuff, but they feel like workwear pants, so I don't think that that matters. Um, and they have kind of like a double knee situation. Um, wax canvas and L.L. Bean is pricey, so I need to do a little bit more research, but I was very happy with that. Another plus size, this is Catherine's 
4X. Kind of fairy purpley gray, 25 bucks. This is just a Patagonia men's tee. I can usually get around 25 bucks. This is like an athletic feel one. Ooh, this is a good find. This is a good style base pickup. So I actually found this in the pajama section because it's actually an intimates item. It is Morgan Taylor, but I could totally see somebody wearing this as a slip dress. It's got the baby doll style. Um, it has beautiful pink embroidery and satin details against the black. Very, very on trend. Um, so I'm going to market this as a dress. And I think I should be able to sell it for $35 to $40. Next up, a plus size piece. This is Fashion Bug. I don't get them very often. But I did really like this style. It's very country, western, denim shirt. Um, I might price that one up to 25 to 30. And last item is another plus size piece. And this is a great brand to find in plus sizes. Lauren Ruff Lauren. This is a 1X black and pe pink. I almost said pinkle. <laughs> Purpley bright pink uh, waterfall long length cardigan. I need to double check pricing on this because I will probably price this up like 35 to 40 bucks. All right, you guys, so is that it? Yes, <laughs> that's finally it. That's the end of the haul. So any haul video that you guys see me in this shirt um, is like a continuation. I filmed it all today. Um, so you're seeing everything that I sourced in one week. You guys have asked that from me, so I'm delivered. I, uh, I don't know if I'll do this again, because to be honest, this was a lot to film all at once. Um, and I know I don't have to film it all at once, but I am very excited to be able to finally share with you guys like a whole week's worth of stuff. And it was a lot of fun too. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing, you know, the, the mix of stuff that we're getting. Um, and I will see y'all in the next thrift haul. Bye.